Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to find the second derivative function, x to the 1 over x power, so let's get to work. First of all, notice that the base is equal to x, right? So let's look at x as e to the ln x power, because keep in mind, whenever you want to work with exponential each, right, you want to have base e right here, right? And then, don't forget to take this raise to the 1 over x power, and now we can just multiply the powers. So in this case, we will have e, and then you can see ln x times 1 over x, I can write that down as ln x on the top over x. And yes, x to the 1 over x is the same as e to the ln x over x, all right? And now we'll look at this expression and differentiate. So now let's go ahead and put down y prime. So right here, you know whenever we differentiate e to the something, the function part right here is first. So we write down e to the ln x over x. And now we have to use the chain loop. So we are going to multiply by the derivative of this guy right here. So you see, that's the quotient. We have to use the quotient rule. So first of all, let's square the denominator. So that's going to be x squared. And then put down the denominator right here. Multiply by the derivative of the top, which is going to be 1 over x. And then minus the top function, which is ln x. And we multiply by the derivative of the bottom, which is just 1. And now, if you look at this right here carefully, e to the ln x over x is just the original, namely x to the 1 over x power times this guy right here. We can simplify that. This times that is just 1 minus this times that is just ln x over that's x squared and then we are done that's the first derivative and of course to get the second derivative we just have to do this again and notice that we have a product right here so we have to use the product rule right so let me put down the first function and then we'll multiply by the derivative of the second and the derivative of the second right here we have to use the quotient rule so let's go ahead and do that again so i will have to square the denominator so this is x squared and we square that and i will have to put down the denominator right here first well that's going to be x squared and we multiply by the derivative of the top the derivative one is zero the derivative of negative ln x is going to be negative 1 over x and then we minus the top function namely 1 minus ln x and we multiply by the derivative on the bottom namely that's 2x like this and then this right here is the first part of the product rule and then we have to add the second right here which is 1 minus ln x over x squared times the derivative of the first so what is the derivative of x to the 1 over x power well, it's just hold this right here again, right? So I will have to multiply by x to the 1 over x, okay, times that guy, which is 1 minus ln x over x squared, okay? The whole thing right here is the derivative of x to the 1 over x, okay? So now let's see if there's any simplification that we can do. Let's take a look right here. Both of this, they have the x to the 1 over x power. So let's go ahead and factor that out. Keep in mind, this is this times this times that. So we can factor things out. So I will factor that out, x to the 1 over x power like this. And now, what in the world else that we can do? Well, if you look at this guy, uh, let's see. We have, this is going to be negative. This times that is just going to be x, and then we can distribute this backwards if you like and that's negative as well so don't forget to distribute the negative as well so we'll have negative 2x and then this is going to be negative times that which is going to be positive 2x ln x right and then this is over x to the fourth power okay so that's the first part that's remain and then we have this times that right so we can just write that down as plus 1 minus ln x square over x square square right right because of this times that remaining for the second part and of course you can do more and this you can expand it if you expand it this is going to be 1 minus 2 ln x plus ln x in the parentheses and square that okay and then let's erase the 2 and make it better and at the end you see this right here is just x to the 1 over x power and big fraction bar we will have x to the fourth power on the bottom oh my god let's see um let's put things down in what word i don't know so let's perhaps write this down first because this is cool, ln x squared, all right? So I put this down first, and nothing really else I can combine. So I will just write down this guy next. Well, actually, that this guy next plus 2x ln x, and this guy, which is negative 2 ln x, and then let me, well, okay, this and that together, this is negative 3x, like a little bonus. Anyway, so we'll just put down negative 3x, at the end, we put down the plus 1, haha. That's it.